Hey, what's up everyone? Aubrey Trades here with another edition of Pre-Market Prep. I'm gonna go over some gappers that are showing up on the scanners. Uh, really, the main ones are BBTH and CARA. CARA is a little bit too high priced for me, but we'll go over it anyway. It's a gap fill on some good news. Uh, so it's hanging around in this zone right here. I'm looking at the daily chart, and this corner is the five minute chart, so you can see. Um, I love this as like a higher price dip and rip sort of idea. Um, you know, I would look for this to maintain that 16s zone and then play for the breakout of 19s. 19 can give us, you know, 22, 23, 24, 25 sort of zone. Again, a little too high priced for me, but PPTH. I think is a little better. Look at this uh, beautiful uptrend on the five minute chart. Uh, clocking at 8.14s right now is the high, which is right around here. We break those highs. I mean, you know, the top of this gap and fade day is $10. And then after that, 24.34. So really, I mean, the sky is truly the limit on this one. I don't want this. I don't want this to break the high in pre-market though. I think that would just be such a waste. Um, I love this again, AM dip and rip, uh, looking for 7.40 to hold, ideally 9.45 or later. And um, we'll go over some OTC names we're looking at. TSOI, this is from the crop we've been watching. Uh, again, same MO, uh, dip and rips, dip buys, it's all like relatively related. Um, looking for a potential bounce off of the 11s. Um, I'm really interested in, in a huge panic bouncing off the tens to uh, to retest that and that way you know you're getting a 20 percent bounce here love that this is getting a little extended there hasn't been a proper red day in six days almost a, like a whole week right i mean more than a week if we count trading days right uh so that uh, pbya another great bullish uptrending chart both of these have news which is awesome uh, this is a little bit of an indecision candle here on the daily with a high wick up top and down at the bottom. Closing at this support line of 158. Uh, so if we get a panic down to 14s, we get a panic down to 13s, 12 nines. Super juicy. Super juicy for a bounce. Uh, and let's see. Steve was another one from that OTC crop. Really good close yesterday. Potential dip buy off of profit taking from overnight longs since it closed at the high. Maybe this gaps up to the 252s. If we get a panic down to the 17s, down to the 14s, I'm look, I'm interested. Go back over here. So I Steve PBY NSAV AUNXF NSAV coming back from the dead. I mean second good green day here. Uh, volume steadily increasing. We're almost here at the ceiling of the four sevens, though. So be wary. You know, maybe a potential panic bounce off of the 32s. But I'm mostly just watching this one. More exciting is AUNXF closing at highs. Big wicks down low, though, uh, from this morning dip. I don't think anyone saw AUNXF coming. Look at this. So beautiful. Uh, you know, Definitely, I think my strongest OTC dip buy candidate uh, looking for that 17 fours uh, test on a sell off from the profit taking uh, 16s, 15s, super juicy. And then we'll get into the listed names PLX, so that's PXLW, all time highs as of like. Plus, you know, the past 10 years, great, great volume, huge moves. Now, this is, I mean, this is looking a little extended, to be honest. But frankly, you know, dip and rip. I mean, kind of already tested this uh, 560s level. So if we get a resell off to that, other zone maybe is the 540s, and we start uptrending again, ideally 945 or later. You know, I'm buying for the test to new highs. Uh, KXIN is our one I want to talk about. Um, former runner from you know back here. Look at this amazing from the uh, what forty cents to the thirteen dollar range, breaking this downtrend, hanging like hanging around, actually making new recent highs 
right, on low, nothing volume. What I love about this is that it is maintaining, it's hanging around this downward trend slope. Uh, so if the 340s holds at the open and we start uptrending, I'm interested for the retest of the 370s. Maybe, like maybe a nice predictable 20 cent a share gain. Um, I'm not necessarily looking to stay past the 370s since we failed it twice now. Um, but if we do break past on really good volume, I mean, this, this, this could run. I mean, maybe it goes to the fours. Maybe it goes to 450s. Uh, same idea with uh, GRNQ. Kind of holding this uh, downward slope as support. Nice little like coiling pattern here on the five minute chart. So if we get a little bit of dip, if 90 cents holds, you know, I'm interested, I'm risking 90 and I want the test of 114. BPTH we talked about, Cassie, we can talk about Cassie. Breaking out of this nice downtrend, great volume, great first green day. This is a day two, so I don't know. Anything could happen on a day two. Keep in mind, 170s is sort of our zone. I'm more interested in a long if this upward slope stays intact here at the 150s, one, uh, 155 range. Then I could risk this low at 151 and take this for the retest of one uh, the 170s, 180s. That's everything that I'm watching today. Thanks so much for checking out the channel. Let me know. Your thoughts, uh, consider liking the video if you got some value out of this. Let me know what else you want to see from the channel. Otherwise, I'll be back for the trade recap. Good luck out there, everybody. Aubrey, out.